Some local students are getting in on that national youth-led climate strike. Our Catherine McGinty lets us know why they're doing it. This youth-led movement has sparked conversation on climate change that younger activists are taking part in, like a group of students over at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. So I was really happy with the turnout. Um, I was going to be out there regardless if it was just me standing out there. Um, so it was really nice to have some of my peers support us. And they have been gathering every Friday since to raise awareness on campus. It's the youth and the kids, the future, our future, that is really streamlining and spearheading this movement. Um, so I was incredibly inspired by all of their voices, and so I wanted to bring some of that here. These students aren't all talk. They have multiple programs and green initiatives in place. You know, there's a bunch of moving parts that go into making this campus work, and we're doing what we can to make it more sustainable. Like a student-founded and managed composting system. And instead of that going to the landfill, we turn it into nutritious fertilizer that can be used to grow plants here in our garden. We need to all be on the lookout and really inform ourselves on what is happening um, locally and globally and how we can have an impact, whether it's with our vote or with our signs or with our voice or with an action. Um, anything helps uh, and anything is better than nothing. Another green initiative on that campus will be unveiled tomorrow. Digital recycling stations called Evo bins. These electronic recycling bins keep data and educate students as they recycle. Seth?